This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Hey guys, it's Max. Today we are gonna find out if our computers are going to be able to edit this 8K RAW and with that also the 4K uh, compressed footage that's gonna be more manageable. I have a few different systems here, both Windows and Mac OS, and you guys can apply this to yourselves as well. And I'm gonna be testing out Final Cut Premiere and DaVinci Resolve to see what kind of a performance difference we might see between these video editing programs. Programs. And if you're looking for any computer, this should help you guys make an informed decision. Now I'm going to start out with this Razer Blade Studio. It is a higher end laptop. I have some cheaper options, $1,000 um, as well, but I doubt that can handle it. So I'm going to go straight for this guy. It has a Quadro 5000 graphics card. I'll leave a link to this laptop down in the video description below. And there you go. Thankfully it's opening up. We're going to start out with 4K 120. And as you guys could see, it's playing in slow motion. It's slowed down in the camera, which makes it easier to edit. And this is 10-bit, of course. 10-bit is more difficult than 8-bit. It started out good there. I'm, I'm surprised. I thought that this was going to work. Gosh, it, it just, it doesn't want to... <laughs> doesn't want to work. That is not good. Okay, let's double check our settings. Yeah, CUDA is selected right here. Wow, scrubbing is really laggy. So let me drop down from full 4K, drop down to half. So here we're at, we're at 1080 now. I still no go. We're dropping almost all of our frames. I guess we can go down to like 720p or 640p playback. Come on. All right, let me go to quarter here, 4K 60, 4K 60 timeline. Oh gosh. <laughs> we just saw that whole clip, but we only saw two frames out of it. All right, let's go to 8K. So this is 8K and 8K timeline. So quarter resolution, 8K. Look at that. It's not great, but it's better. It's better raw is editing easier. Let's try dropping down to an eighth resolution here. And okay, that looks really terrible. And it's playing back, still dropping frames, a good amount of frames, but at least you could cut this way. Uh, the footage, Huang, thank you for sharing it. It looks fantastic, but the system just doesn't want to deal with this. Uh, let's shut down Premiere. Let's go take a look at Resolve. I know they mentioned EOS R5 and upgraded playback. So I've spent over an hour trying to get this to work in Resolve. And I tried this version, I tried the previous version, which also listed R5 compatibility, internal SSD, external SSD, Windows update, everything. Some of the thumbnails show up on those H.265 compressed 4K files, but it just shows up offline. I'll relink it, I'll put it in, and create made three projects, it, it just won't work. I have no idea what's going on. Thankfully, the 8K RAW is supported and it's working just fine. Uh, so this is an 8K timeline. Let's try to play that back. As you guys can see, we are having some drop frames, some skipping. Let's go ahead and drop this down to a 4K timeline instead of 8K. All right, and that doesn't look to be that much better, unfortunately. <laughs> Looks like on a 4K timeline, it's playing back at 12, 11 here. That is not that good. Before we move on to our Mac tests, let me tell you about a super helpful video editing tool, our sponsor, Storyblocks. Have you ever been working on a video project and you're just missing that little extra B-roll, whether it's a drone shot, a time lapse, or something else? Well, Storyblocks has over 325,000 HD and 4K video clips to help you out, along with After Effects templates, motion backgrounds, and more, and you could also download as many of these clips as your heart desires. New content is regularly added and they're all royalty free so you can use them for both personal and commercial projects. Go to storyblocks.com slash max to learn more and the next time you're in a bind or just editing and you feel like your project could use just a little extra something, you'll have access to a huge stock library at a fraction of the cost. Go ahead and take your videos to the next level with Storyblocks. And now I have my first Mac here. This is a 2020 16-inch MacBook Pro with the 5600M graphics, eight cores. I'll link it down below. I was gonna do the base model 16-inch, but seeing how difficult it was for that Windows laptop, I wanted to start out with this. And if this handles it, no problem. We know Macs have an easier time, and I'll try out uh, the base model. But let's go ahead and just get started here in Premiere. 4K project here, full resolution. 
and that's doing better. <laughs> that, <laughs> Premiere Pro displayed FPS, uh, 30 frames per second right there. It's actually rendering it at 33. So this Mac is having an easier time. Of course, this is a high-end Mac. Not bad, at, oh, there you go. It's, it's slowing down a little bit, it's glitching up. But once again, we're at full 4K resolution. Let me go ahead and drop down to half res. So this is gonna give us um, 1080p playback here. Yep, right there. So 1080p render, a half. And now we should be running much smoother. Maybe. No, we're not? What the heck? No. It is not liking lowering that down to half. Let's go back up to full. Okay, I may have spoke too soon. <laughs> this is not a cheap MacBook Pro. Wow. It doesn't like it either. And I, I just updated Premiere. The system is heating up. Our CPU is maxed out. Our graphics is at 61%. I don't even know if I want to try 4K60. Of course, let me just hit it. We're half res over here, not full res. It's playing. Timeline's moving, but the image is not moving. Okay. This is some tough footage. I don't know if it's just gonna take time to optimize it. That's not good. All right, let's check out the AK. Uh, quarter resolution over here. That means it's 1080p playback. Hey, there we go. It's 24 FPS, perfectly smooth. CPU's close to max out. Graphics card is being used a lot less. So 8K playing back. It's in an 8K timeline, but with 1080p playback, look at that. This makes me want to just shoot AK and forget the 4K compress. Other than that, I think you guys are going to be making proxies in Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and close that. Let's open up Resolve. Once again, we'll start out with that 4K 30, which was actually 4K 120. 4K timeline here, and we're getting some choppy playback. Once again, the CPU for this 4K timeline, it's at 99%. It can't keep up here in Resolve. Graphics is only at 17, even though this said that it's updated for the R5. I was thinking Resolve would do much better than Premiere. Can't do 4K 60 playback in 4K quality. Uh, that's a tough codec. And then now let's go ahead and open up our 8K. The RAW is doing way better than the 4K in a 4K timeline. Let's bump this up to 8K. And I'm guessing it's just gonna fall apart here. Five FPS, four and a half FPS. Ah, it's catching up, but it's still glitching. I'm still surprised that if you just throw it in a 4K timeline, not bad. RAW is easier to work with than those 10-bit all-i H.265 files. And now let's go ahead and test out Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna cross my fingers that these 4K files are gonna play back at least here the compressed 4K. Let's start out with our 30 FPS footage, which used to be 120. And <laughs> come on, Final Cut, I had so much hope for you. It, it's choppy, as you guys can see right there. It's supposed to be smooth. Look at her hand going up. Uh, let's go ahead and select better performance from better quality. Gosh, this is like 720, 720p playback. This would be probably like a, selecting a quarter or maybe even an eighth or somewhere in between. I've never seen that before where it just struggles in better performance. Usually better performance looks terrible, but it's smooth. I'm gonna skip the 4K60. I don't, well, okay, let's open it. Better than Resolve, but still terrible. Let's open up 8K in an 8K timeline. And you guys could see we're skipping some frames. It's not horrible, it, it's bad. <laughs> I'm gonna select better performance. There you go, 8K RAW, better performance. And thankfully, since it's 8K, when we select the better performance, it usually looks terrible. It doesn't look terrible because the source footage is such high resolution. So I'm gonna know what I'm gonna shoot now. I'm just gonna shoot 8K RAW and edit that in a 4K timeline resolve or better performance like this. And it's gonna be fine. It's interesting looking right now at our CPU's only at 12%, graphics is at 49. And let's go like this. Not perfect, but definitely usable. So that 4K is tough, very tough. All right, so I have one saving grace right now. 
let's go ahead and test out the $15,000 Mac Pro. So we have the Beast here. This thing better be able to handle this footage. I have a 12 core processor, the Vega 2 graphics with 32 gigs of video memory, 192 gigs of RAM. This spec right here is about 15 grand. Of course, you don't need the afterburner card. It's not doing anything here. Uh, but say you have a $10,000 Mac Pro, it better be able to handle this. Let's check it out. We're gonna start with Premiere. I have a 4K timeline, 4K playback. And there we have it. Yes, finally, <laughs> we're playing this back. Now the CPU, I don't know if you guys could see that, it's maxed out. The CPU is 100%. The graphics is at 10. If you buy a Mac Pro, get 16 cores, don't get the 12, did you guys see that? Uh, but at least it's playing back at 30 FPS. Thankfully, I can edit this 4K all eye footage. Full quality 4K 60. Um, it looks like, oh, we are dropping a little bit of frames but not much. And let's just drop down to half res. We don't need to be at 4K. So now we're gonna be at uh, 1080 right here, playback. Gosh, it's even worse. For some reason, it doesn't like to be have lowered playback resolution. Even I guess if you're doing 4K 60 on a Mac Pro like this one, you probably still would wanna do proxies or edit on a 1080p timeline because look, now it's slowing down at 4K 60. 4K 30, no problem, 4K 24, but so this is 8K raw in the 8K timeline. Let's play it back. And we get a big no. <laughs> we get a big no. We're playing back at one frame per second. There you go. Okay, so let's drop it down to half, which is gonna be 4K. Not bad, not bad. We are maxing out the CPU here, it looks like. Gosh, I, I thought it would do better here. So 1080p playback on a Mac Pro from the AK Raw, you could do it. <laughs> so let's quit Premiere, let's go into Resolve. It looks like it's doing better here than Premiere, which you would expect. Perfectly smooth playback. And let's see, it'd be really cool if we could pull off 4K60 in Resolve here on the system. Uh, come on, come on, <laughs> Mac Pro, you could do it. Let's play back here. Looks like just about 30, 35, 38 frames per second is all you could do with this 10-bit 422. And now let's try 8K on an 8K timeline. Nope, I could do, almost could do it. Oh, there you go. Still getting a little bit of stutters, but 8K on the 8K timeline resolve on a Mac Pro. And then if we place that in a 4K timeline, it looks like it's not having an issue at all. Perfectly smooth. I don't really have much hope for Final Cut. We'll try it out. No way, is it choppy playing back 4K 30 in a 4K timeline? This doesn't make sense. CPU's at 24%, graphics at 14. Gosh, this footage is crazy. Yeah, that's what we get. I think we get the point. I think we get the point. This footage, is much tougher than I expected. I thought people are gonna have a really hard time with the 8K, that's gonna be what's gonna be impossible. You'll need to transcode and do proxies. And then what I didn't expect is that the 4K would be so difficult to edit, even the 4K 30, just because it's H.265 and it's 10-bit and it's 422. So they gave us everything as far as codecs, but the computers, even high-end computers, are struggling. So plan a transcode, basically plan to make proxies once again with this camera. I, I, that's it, that, that's all I have to say. So one area you don't have to transcode is with Storyblocks. You download their high quality 4K footage, you're gonna be fine <laughs> with that. So definitely go check out Storyblocks. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. This has been Max and I will see you in the next video.